I'm going to show how to do some simple astrophotography or astro videography, uh, which is pretty simple, although people make it seem like it's hard. So here we have a simple telescope and uh, you can get these for like 100, 200 bucks at whatever store. I got this, telescope.com. But typically you have to look through it like this and it's hard to share and it's hard to take videos but uh, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a simple iPhone. So what you want to do is, right now it's daylight, and I point this thing at the sky, and so all I can see is bright light. But when I put the phone up, so I take the phone and I put it in camera mode, and then I hold it over the thing, and I can find where it needs to be uh, such that it'll take videos. And then I don't have to look through the eyepiece, if it's held here stationary, then I can just sit here and record. So I'll show you how to make a moon video. Now this is a big eyepiece. This is 25 millimeters. And the, so if you come in and look at the, the screen, you know, it's, it's tricky to fixture. You got, it's going to take a little while. But basically I want it where it's just really bright. And if you kind of look at the distance in here, it's, the right distance for 25 millimeters is kind of up in the air. So I don't really like that. So I'm going to switch here in a second to a smaller eyepiece where I can set this right on and then I'm going to fixture it. Now I switch to this much smaller eyepiece. You can see that the old one was this big and then this one has a much smaller uh, little eye hole. So it's even harder to kind of look through but you have much more magnification which is good for looking at the moon. But the better thing about it is when I put the phone on there, if you zoom in on the phone here, the point at which it gets good video is right on the lens. So this is going to make me easier to make it easier for me to kind of fixture it on there. So what I'm going to use to hold it so this isn't even the right thing. So this is a Joby, which is a simple tripod. And this is actually a light. You don't want to use a light. They make these that hold phones, and that would be better. So what I'm going to do is, and this is going to take like 10 minutes, so I'm not going to show the whole thing, how I'm going to fixture it. But I'm basically just holding this thing stationary, and then I'm going to use the arms here to hold the phone right on there. And again, because this is daylight, as soon as I can see light in the mirror here, or in the uh, screen, then I know it's fixtured right, and I can leave it here and come back and then look at the moon. So, I'll show you, this is gonna, it's gonna take me about 10 minutes to do, so I'll show you what it looks like uh, when it's done. So I've done it, so you see what I did with the Joby here, is I wrapped one arm just around this little viewfinder, and then I used the other two arms uh, to hold it. So, remember right now, I'm looking at the screen, and I was looking at the sky. So I know that my phone is properly looking through the lens because I can see the, the circle there. But So basically what I do is I just hold it there, and then I tweak it, and the thing kind of has to be in a perfect spot. So you can come up with whatever fixture you want, but you got to hold it there, and it's not easy, and it's going to take a little while. But when you're done, now I can go outside with the telescope, and, uh, you know, take whatever videos I'm seeing through the actual lens. And again, so I'm just looking outside at the sky, and we're ready to go. So there's the telescope. Okay, so now we're trying to finish this and uh, see the moon. So you can see, uh, if you point it at the thing, you can kind of see, you get a moon. Can't really see much detail out of the phone. So we're gonna, we have this rigged up, and I'm gonna position it so we're looking at the moon. Should be right about. Yeah. So you come in, you can see we're looking at the moon here, and then if I wanna record, I'll just go ahead, start the video, and then I'll put this video on the end.